Walter Smith Randolph is at Inwood Park. Walter, what are you seeing right now? Hey, Dwayne, we're, yeah, we're here at Inwood Park, and right now you can see this protest is really wrapping up. Right now the protesters are kneeling with their fists in the air. Um, they've been down here for several minutes in this position, and in the past what this has meant, it symbolized the seven or eight minutes that um, that officer had his knee on George Floyd's neck. So that's what they're doing right now. They're in the middle of that. But um, we've seen more and more people coming up Vine Street. Um, we've been at the, the front of the protest. Brad Underwood has been at the end of the protest. So We've been, just been following them, but it really looks like that. Some people are going into the park. They're, they're um, taking in this moment of solidarity, and then we're seeing other people who are leaving. Um, I also talked to some other protesters before about the curfew. They said that they weren't happy with that curfew, but they were going to abide by that. So it still remains to be seen, you know, what is going to happen after this. But again, this protest has, ma has remained mostly peaceful as they marched from Inwood Park through downtown. They went to City Hall, they went to the Hamilton County Courthouse, and then came back here. We did see, uh, you know, a few arrests, and there have been, uh, they've been met with some, some police force as well, as you can hear the helicopter above me. But for right now, remaining peaceful here at Inwood Park. Back to you, Dwayne. All right, Walter, peaceful so far. We'll stay on top of all of this. Local12.com for the very latest, and we'll break in if need be. Stay with Local 12 News. We'll see you back here tonight at 11.